I don't know what it is about elk and steep mountains. It seems like we're always hiking up to the top of the steepest one. Hopefully we get to his bedroom about the same time he does. Start a little fight. We're counting on him doing the same thing he did yesterday. Which is always risky because <laughs> the end of September they don't always do the same thing they did the day before. But we're going to climb the mountain and be waiting in his bedroom. Wind's coming solid our way right now. Probably be better to go above it.
season last year. And I haven't had exactly a stellar season so far this year. And I thought if he comes right down the same trail as the cow, I'm calm as can be. And if he stops there, I'm going to get this monkey off my back. I'm done hunting here for 
the season. straight misses I figured I could get away with saying I missed a fifth time and Donnie wouldn't question it. He might question his choice in hunting partners but I'm pretty sure we heard him crash down there but let's just give him another 20 minutes and make sure. Well we've waited about 40 minutes I go back and get on the trail, follow the tracks down. We did hear a crash down there right after the shot, so hopefully it's a short, easy tracking job and we'll let the pack be the hard one this time.
Donnie said there's a lot more room in this picture now that the monkey's off my back. <laughs> it was, uh, it was good. Last year was first time in a long time that I didn't fill an elk tag. And this year started out looking like it was more of the same. So this feels real good. Good shade, meat pole there. We're gonna start cutting him up and pack him out. But before we do, we uh, we decided at the beginning of the season that Donnie and I would each give away a prime bow when we shoot our Idaho elk. So that day is today for me. Donnie gave his away. First day. First day. <laughs> clear back on August 30th. So. We're uh, September 25th today, four weeks later, and uh, somebody's gonna win new prime black Mark V, which is the brand new bow that just came out. So leave a comment below, let us know what you think. Tell us a story, something. Tell me that I'm not the only one that's been in a little bit of a slump and Whatever, leave a comment. We'll randomly pick a comment and give away a Prime Black Mark V, second one of Destination Elk. And now that Idaho's over, we have a, we have a couple days. We might see if we can round up somebody that will let us chase elk away with our bugles for them. <laughs> and then we're off to Hunt of a Lifetime next week. And we've got a Yeti 210 cooler to give away coming up. We've got all sorts of stuff. Gave away a Baku e-bike with Jesse's elk. Gave away the Prime Black with Donnie's. Prime Black today. Got a Yeti 210 next week. We've got some more hunting to do. So. But before we get ahead of ourselves, we're going to cut this elk up and put it in our exo packs and head 1.5 miles that way. Got a dad joke for us? Oh, on the spot. Well, it's, these guys were razzing me earlier up there. They're just telling jokes all the time. They're always telling these little poop jokes. And- I thought poop jokes were your favorite. They're definitely not my favorite, but they're a solid number two. The elk hunting has uh, surpassed the dad joke, at least for today, so. Uh, good job. Thanks. Thanks for <laughs> sticking with me through a rough stretch there. Yeah. Behind us now, it's all smooth sailing. And we get a rifle hunt this year. Still more to come, exactly, we're gonna be Hunting in Montana with Randy Newberg with rifles, which that'll be interesting. Yeah. Okay. Catch you tomorrow.
just a good reminder of why I truly hunt elk. It's not the size of the antlers. I thought he was gonna eat me. You see him open his mouth like he's like, he's four yards. He looked over and saw the elk laying there and he thought, well, that's a weird place to take a nap. Like the bed's right over here. see how close he would get until he lip curled at me and I thought <laughs> oh could you imagine that <laughs> you look taller tonight. <laughs> I feel a little taller tonight. Yeah. That was a... Uh, you know, I think my reaction at the shot was based on spontaneous remembrance that I'd set a goal to shoot a big herd bull. I think right now what I'm feeling is not spontaneous, but... Kind of cumulative remembrance of the last two years yeah <laughs> last season the hunt in oregon uh, a couple days ago missing a big bowl yeah feels good to get back in the right groove now everything works out <laughs> yeah so it was a uh, you know i think it's worth mentioning at the shot I kind of had shooter's remorse for a second there because I had set my sight on that big bull, on a mature bull. Then we'd found that big bull and that was kind of the bull that I wanted to hunt. Yeah. But then this gift shows up standing broadside at 30 yards. And, you know, I think had I passed it up, um, I would have had to be okay with living with the yeah. fact I might not tag out. And I was to a point where, you know what, filling the freezer Filling my tag, rebuilding my confidence yeah. was was more important. So And he made me think that he missed it. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I walked over there and he's like, I'm done hunting. I'm not I'm putting my bow away. We're done. Let's go. I'm like, oh. Well yeah, I mean, How imagine I... the situation here. I missed a bull in Oregon last year. Yeah. I lost a bull in Wyoming. Yeah. I missed a bull in Oregon this year. I missed a bull three days before. Yep. Donnie comes walking up and I tell him I missed another bull. I, you, as a great hunting partner, I don't know if there's even anything you can say at that point. Yeah, how am I gonna pick him up after this? Or just turn, all right, let's go then. That was a pretty dirty <laughs> trick. That's... But his reaction when he found my arrow laying there found soaked in arrow. blood was priceless. Yeah. So. I pulled that trick on too many other people. It got pulled on me. <laughs> <laughs> so the bull went, what, 25 yards, 30 yeah. yards, piled up right there. The hard part was we were focused on the big bull that we found yesterday. He was there. We knew it was him. We were moving in. He was 70 yards below us. This bull shows up. I shoot him. The bull I shoot goes down and literally dies in the bed the big bull had been laying in. Yeah. So we're down taking pictures, we have the elk propped up. He's laying up there so that we don't even have to hold the head or anything. I mean, it looks like he's laying there asleep. We'd been there, we'd been there for probably 45 minutes to an hour taking pictures and John doing all of his things. And, and it's like, all right, let's get this cut up. We walk over to our packs 
What? We're six yards away, eight yards away from the elk. Getting our knives out of our packs. Corey has his knife in his hand, and I... What was that? I think there's something coming. And... Sure enough. Yeah. Not only was it an elk, it was a bull elk. And not only was it a bull elk, it was the elk so that it's we've been chasing. chasing. <laughs> it, uh, you know, I think at the time, I was feeling good about a successful hunt but there's still that little pang in the back of my heart saying you settled you compromised you didn't stick to the goal of shooting a mature bull and then to have the mature bull walk up to four yards and stick his tongue out at us <sighs> so it's not even sure how to react i mean when he's walking up i thought when he started curling in his nose i thought it was going to be a something we've waited for for a long time just a great big huge bugle right in our face and then it's just a big hiss it's like whoa yeah you know he came in and he stopped there and you can see he looks over at the bull that's that's laying there dead and you can almost see the reaction in his eyes of you're in my bed yeah and he wasn't happy about it and he didn't we're standing in the open we're just standing right there and he looked right through us, didn't even acknowledge us there. And when he started coming right at me and he tipped his head back and he did that aggressive hiss at three or four yards, all I had was my Gerber Vital knife in my hand. <laughs> that, that was my first reaction was, I can let him come all the way, but if I flinch then and he sees that, his reaction might be charge and fight. Drop his head and come right through all three of us <laughs> yep so he won the game of chicken i chicken gave him the knife yeah. then he turns and runs 10 yards and turns quartering away broadside and looks at us for 10 seconds let's Corey get a real good look at him yeah. at if you still had your yards. tag look at what you <laughs> could be shooting at right now yeah yeah no at, at this point just completely stoked to fill my tag and to get out of that slump that I've been in for a while. So yeah. no regrets at all. Uh, we had a tough pack out and we brought it out in one trip. Again, John, our camera guy, just chipping in, not only chipping in, he carried a heavier load than I think Donnie and I yeah. carried between his camera gear and the heavy load of, of elk meat. Uh, it was a brutal pack, but we got it out in one trip and yeah. celebrated success. So that means we've uh, we've teased you for quite a while about what was going to happen. But we have another prime black bow to give away. So uh, I had a chance to hunt with this bow all fall. It is the best bow I've ever shot. And somebody who comments down below is going to win one today. Just comment below. Remember, you can get your extra chance at elk101.com forward slash destination elk. And we're going to pick one lucky person to win that. Another person is going to win call package, uh, destination elk package number three with the elk calls, the Mountain Ops Ignite, and the Yeti Rambler. The elk truck, giving away the elk truck. Don't forget about that. The elk truck uh, during the finale will be given away. All of these prizes, we're going to announce the winners for everything for every day of Destination Elk V2, including the elk truck during the finale. Uh, Tomorrow is the last day of the Black Friday promotion, so you have about 24 hours left to sign up for the University of Elk Hunting online course. And if you use the code Black Friday, you're going to save $30. Uh, what else? Seems like we're forgetting something. Dad joke? I'm not doing a dad joke today. You're going to have to tune in tomorrow. Ooh. I'm saving my dad jokes for tomorrow. It Plural. Should, it Plural. should be... We took some heat. When Donnie doesn't do a dad joke in an episode, that's like half the comments. Like People aren't even watching for elk hunting anymore. They're watching for Donnie's dad jokes. So yeah. Hopefully the success today and the incredible encounter with the bull hissing at four yards yeah. will at least carry you over till tomorrow. And you don't want to miss tomorrow. If you like yeah. Donnie's dad jokes, <laughs> tomorrow is the episode specific for you. Yeah. Yeah. 
We might uh, go a little early again tomorrow, so if you haven't subscribed to the Elk 101 YouTube channel, just subscribe right down there so you're notified and you know as soon as tomorrow's special... What should we call it? Donnie's Dad Joke Special? No. Cameraman Revenge. Ooh. <laughs> now we're leaving you all sorts of suspense here. We better just stop right there. Come back tomorrow. You don't want to miss tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, the encouragement, you know, yeah. I've, I've had a rough go for a few hunts here and, uh, chip is off the shoulder. Yep. There's, there's a Roosevelt chip still there. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about that more, but come back tomorrow. Uh, Donnie promises to make everyone who watches laugh. I'm not going to be the only one making them laugh. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow.